What's up and welcome to the channel, the Shotgun Shogun, and this is the, uh, the account review for June. I think I do the previous month. I'm not too sure, but this is going to cover the things that I did since the last one, where I'm going, some of the stuff that I moved around. I've moved a lot of gear around just because I'm trying to um, get up into legend I'm trying to finish out the the season the rta season at top 50 as as high as we can go would be beneficial uh to me for flexing purposes of course but uh that's what that's what we are that's what we're looking to do right now so let's take a look at some of the units that i've moved gear over to some of the things i changed around some of the gear some of the units that i'm looking forward to gearing some things i'm working on and a couple of pieces of gear here and there that i have crafted that was just absolutely banging over the last month so first off let's get into uh you know what actually let's look at let's look at some gear let's look at some of the gear that i have crafted in the last month so we're gonna look for uh recent and this will show you mostly what i read this one i actually just did today uh not a big fan of it uh this one is pretty good uh, i want to do some unity memes in the fruit in the future so this on like a healthy boy would be pretty good uh i'm looking forward to some unity memes uh, down the road now i have been farming a lot of a13 uh because i do want rage sets and immunity sets too i guess uh this one actually rolled pretty nice for a dpser i kind of wish that it didn't go one into health but hey you know what health is still pretty okay it's got a nice spread of critical hit damage and speed uh overall not a bad piece not like the most amazing piece ever but not bad it's gonna get it's gonna get reforged um this actually is disgusting um I don't know who I'm going to put this on, uh, but it's going to be somebody quick who I want to maybe put this, maybe put that other, that weapon on them. I'm going to reforge both of these because this will end up being 20 speed. Yeah, that'll end up being 20 speed because the max you can get after reforge is uh, four. Not only that, but it did go one into critical hit chance as well. So this not only is super fast, but it's going to have an extra bit of critical hit chance as well as some heft on there too. Uh, not a whole lot of heft, but defense and health is not, uh, overlooked. Was this any good? Not particularly decent critical hit chance. Uh, it's not locked. So probably chances are I'm going to feed it to something else. Um, this one's pretty okay for effect resist. Um, I've been stockpiling a bit more effect resist pieces because I love me some effect resist. This one is not bad in terms of like spread. I did get a couple low rolls on this, uh, so we'll see on that one. Uh, this one, actually, let's see what this, because this was critical hit chance. I think the defense was real low. Let's see if we got just enough to, to pop it into plus 12 and see what we get. I mean, we do because because we've got uh, uh, the the charms but okay health uh that's probably gonna get that's probably gonna get uh torched uh, that's what that's gonna do so let's see we did get this one and then we reforged it health attack health critical hit chance um I need more health gear. I've actually considered uh, just taking like a couple weeks and farming Gollum to get some extra health and defense gear uh, out of uh, out of things. Uh, this didn't roll too great. Uh, the critical hit, 15% critical hit chance is pretty big though. Uh, it really helps. Uh, critical hit chance on other pieces or uh, it really helps like with what you can uh, finagle into other, other stuff. Um, this rolled into just not great. Um, I, who do I even have that on? It's just sitting on somebody right now. Uh, taking up space that's what that's doing this one has a decent amount of like gear spread across it um, there's a handful of things like i'm gonna end up reforging this because this is speed health crit chance that's not bad um, this one's health defense I don't know who I'm going to use this on, but uh, if I need somebody who on lifesteal who needs to be a little bit extra tanky, uh, this is going to be pretty good for them. Uh, this one is an extra thick one. 
this one is not amazing, but it's still okay. Uh, it probably martial artists can affect resist piece. Uh, this one rolled really good into attack. For, so for lifesteal, uh, who's, I think that's gonna, I was gonna put that on Mercer. That's who I think that's going on. Uh, cause I need to uh, modify her gear a little bit the next time, uh, it comes around this ring. Oh, you guys already saw this. I think that goes back to like the last one. Uh, but if you haven't, 32% critical hit chance on this ring is just so, so good. So dummy good. And uh, it, it took a lot of rolling to get there. Um, I have a lot of gear just sitting around right now that I'm waiting to upgrade for specific people. This one actually I'm really excited for because it's the rage set, uh, but it rolled critical hit damage and attack. You know, you went one into speed as well, but uh, this is going to be good because I want to set up a, uh, a watcher Shuri to do either a 13 real quick, or maybe uh, I've seen some just ridiculously geared watcher Shuri's able to one shot Banshee 13 uh, so we got to get there. That's that's the goal. That's where I like to get to. We also made this uh, extra thick with more crit chance, too. Uh, so that's actually really, really solid. And a lot of the gear that I did pick up over the course of the month came from crafting. Uh, as typical, there's not very often that I get gear that is... You know, just really good on drops and then actually rolls real good. Uh, that's usually not a thing that uh, that typically happens. So in terms of characters, I did end up getting ML Violet. I did pull for Celine. Celine is not built. ML Violet currently doesn't have gear. I did plus 15 him and I will be getting gear for him. I'm actually running Wyvern 13 now to put together a set of gear for him because the gear requirements that he has are ridiculously high. And I found that in order to get to the place that I wanted to be with him, I would need to basically salvage gear from multiple of my core units just for one. And I didn't really want to do that. I felt like uh, when I did that and I tried to make like my other units like back to semi similar to what they were, it really hurt me overall. And, um, yeah, so currently he is ungeared. Uh, I'm waiting to get some spare gear. Well, not spare gear or better gear. We're, we're making a set for him. Um, after talking to a couple people, I've decided that my new mindset is going to be I'm going to make a character that I'm happy with their stats and then I'm never going to touch their gear again. Their gear is off limits forever. They're not, I'm not going to take it off there because I move gear around too much. And I think that really hurts me sometimes because while well, one, I'll completely forget that I, I didn't uh, remove my gear uh, during Guild Wars. And then I'll have an ungeared or half geared a Ravi in my in my in my thing so that's that's a big pain um fire ravi is is still the same uh i do like this build it's it's real good i'm having a lot of success with this build uh what did we do so lilius we turned into a high damage lilius um this is a ridiculous build and it's also how i deal with specter tenebrias and just about everything else on the field. Now, she doesn't have as much heft. She's not as fast. Uh, she's not on immunity, which I know some people are going to be like, wait, why are you not on immunity? Because you only have 13% effect resist. Uh, it sucks, but unless they disable me, the S3 is going to is gonna wipe everything anyways. So unless I get stunned or slept uh, or disabled somehow, uh, she's going to get that S3 off and typically I will run her with, I completely rebuilt my little queen Charlotte. So I built her with a bit more attack. Uh, I was building her real tanky and I felt like she just didn't do enough damage. She didn't die very fast, but she didn't do enough damage. Uh, so I was ending up like half killing people or, you know, not being able to follow through. So I brought 
brought things down. Her defense is a lot lower than she used to be. Her health is a bit lower than she used to be. The nice thing is, though, is she does have that, uh, that S2 passive that reduces critical hit damage by 30%. So chances are she's not going to get one and done one shot, like right out the gate without getting a turn, right? Uh, unless there's a lot of pushback, other things like that, in which case... Um, you're going to end up getting probably stripped anyways by a Flitica or a Bassar. And that's like something that's kind of been, um, you know, a big thing for me, especially in RTA, right? Is I go in and I have an okay immunity set on Seaside Bell, but a lot of times it'll just get stripped by a Bassar or stripped by a Flitica. Or, you know, if I try to draft uh, FCC to counter the Flitica on a cleave, they just ban FCC. So that's, uh, you know, that's pretty rough. But uh, usually I just I just tank it down. Uh, so there's that. So this is working out real well for me. She's real fast. Now, sometimes if I take damage, she will cut my DN who is who's going to be there to give her attack buff. So that kind of sucks. But what I have been running her and Lilius with is Blue Rose. Now I have her real quick, real thick. Um, I do need to get a different uh, EE. I have this one on that uh, applies the same effect to the caster to for the debuffs and the shield and stuff like that. But I want the one turn cooldown, the extra cooldown on the S3. That's what I want uh, because she is a phenomenal enabler. CR push on both skills here. Um, you have 25%. It gets her increased defense and increased attack to everybody. Uh, you can bruiser cleave with Blue Rose, and that is what I do. Uh, so I have her kicking the Arius so that, you know, she's soaking damage. It does make it so that if they do get a turn or we get a Seaside Bell counter, um, we're not just going to get instantly insta gibbed so there is that now i know that she does scale with defense and um some people have used her to lay out some damage by just making her real real high high defense but right now this this is the gear that i have right um i would like to shuffle some of my gear, my health over to defense um, but this is just what I have at the moment. I don't really have too much else in the terms of speed. So I do need to work on getting something that's like, as you can see, like right here, flat health on a defense set, but it has 18 speed. So this, um, I, I crafted this and I upgraded it because this is going to go on like a, a DJ Basar or somebody who has low ish base health that could better take advantage of this and the speed so that's that and as you can see i'm, I'm wearing this this ring uh, but i don't have much in the way of hit defense main stat high speed substat right uh so you gotta work with gotta work with what you got uh that is um that is what we have going on there um the other thing is i built my charles back up um, I need to get more crit chance on him because 86% uh, may basically means 0% chance. Uh, but he he tanks a lot. Um, I want to get a bit better attack on him. Um, keep the crit. I'm going to try to keep the critical hit damage the same, but I would like to get more attack. Um, now, I did build him tankies because a lot of times he is just the primary focus, right? You want to get the Charles off of the off of the map as fast as possible and a lot of times um k -Rons will have a hard sometimes k -Rons will have a hard times a lot of times up in legends k -Rons will just one shot literally anything that i have forever um i have been testing out uh justice for all on my falconer clary um it's nice because sometimes you get the continuous healing sometimes you get evasion now again it is all completely random but it has been working out pretty well for me she is 266 um i did have her on my cerise gear for a little bit and she was like up in the 280s uh but i need cerise to counter uh flitica oxlots cleaves because if you don't ban that it pretty much 
pretty much is going to bone you if you let a Cerise through in RTA. So I have her up at 290 with 124 effectiveness. For the most part, not too much is going to resist this. Um, and if I put a speed imprint like a Mercer or something like that on the team, uh, she is going to get first turn most of the time. Um, Seaside Bell, I did. She was a lot thicker, right? But I felt like um, I was having a little bit of a hard time uh, killing people because my attack was a little bit lower. Now she was really annoying, but I wanted to do this too, because I typically will run Lilius with Seaside Bell, Little Queen Charlotte, and, um, you know, maybe a Blue Rose or a DN or something along those lines. So having this extra attack is real nice if they ban Little Queen Charlotte, because uh, Lilius is going to scale off of attack. Not only that, but the, uh, the drink damage damage is going to be a bit higher here too. Now she's no slouch when it comes to defense. Uh, you know, she's going to be able to take some hits. She's not going to take them as good as she used to, uh, but she is going to be able to take some hits. I'm going to try to find some, uh, some better gear, uh, like some gear upgrades. I'd like to get a couple, but I mean, it's hard to beat uh, 34 defense and health with critical hit chance. Now, the thing on this is I don't really need that speed because I don't need her to be very fast at all. Uh, so, you know, actually it's more beneficial if they don't have a an immunity stripper, right? Uh, this one effect resist critical hit chance. I actually don't know why I have this. Oh, because I, I just literally needed critical hit chance and any any immunity set any immunity set whatsoever uh that is that is what uh we got there now i did put these critical these massive critical hit chance boots on to her uh, so that's real real nice that opens me up to be able to use a lot more stuff right as you can see i'm using two piece of two set crit uh and then immunity just to get the stats that i need there but she hits real hard and can take hits for a little bit she's not gonna get she's not gonna get just straight squishy squishy killed um somebody that i've been really having a lot of fun with lately is this captain rickerous and he is on some semi-scuffed gear right now and i am really looking forward to actually putting him into good gear next uh on equip um, you know, because like I said, like you see here, you got uh, one, two, three pieces of four pieces of 85 gear. Um, and I need to get his effectiveness up because the S3 stunning and stripping and healing him is real good. If you watch some of my recent Guild Wars videos, I, I use this guy a lot, like a lot, a lot. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan. Um, I might put something different on him for this, but the Rannon's memorandum uh, really does help speed him up quite a bit. Uh, I'm trying to think of other units here that I may have recently built. Uh, not Gunther, Champ Zeratos, literally the same. I did dial back a uh, Alencia a little bit on the critical hit damage. Um, I needed that to increase her critical hit chance. Not only that, but I moved some gear around. This is probably one of the better, better setups that I had for her. I would like to get her critical hit damage back up to where it was, but right now she does, she does beast pretty hard. Um... I wouldn't mind getting her speed up a bit more that so that way she goes first so that way she can strip anything and then we can go into whoever else but chances are she's probably going to go probably going to go first Mercer's build is pretty much the same I actually do need to put her the uh plus 30 violets talisman back on her because that's currently hanging out on the R violet um I've been using bell in a 13 she is amazing amazing um ml ken so this is what i've got him right now i usually am running him with like eaton to to be a uh a cleave breaker right uh so if they come in with a lot of cleave i drop eaton elena and then ml ken right so they're gonna have to have to probably ban ml ken i also have usually seaside bell and dizzy uh so if they ban ml ken uh, we have Eaton and Elena, Seaside Bell and Dizzy. If they ban Eaton, we have Elena and then Seaside Bell and Dizzy. And if they ban Elena, we have e we have a ton of damage. 
Um, I do, though, however, want to change him a bit to try out an effect resist build, like a, a tanky effect resist build, because Faintless does did that and absolutely destroyed me with it. Um, thank you, Faintless. Um, and I have ran into it a couple times up in Legend, and um, usually it poops on me. Uh, as long as you ban out the likes of, you know, Little Queen Charlotte, and even then, if it's tanky enough, uh, yeah, I've I've hit Little Queen Charlotte's, and the ML Ken just kind of chuckles at me, uh, and that is with a pretty good amount of damage. Like that, uh, that Little Queen Charlotte hits pretty hard. Oh, I rebuilt this. Um, I rebuilt this Dark Corvus. I want to get more HP on him. As you can see, I got uh, two pieces of 85 gear. I gotta get built up he's got a hundred and uh, this piece is not great at all uh, but he's got 117 effect resist we got the strax uh not too much debuffs him uh if you ban out the likes of, you know like dizzy uh Bizar, you counter him you kill him uh he's gonna he's gonna tank through it um i would like to get his health up a bit more uh, but the speed is good he cycles real quick uh and and yeah, he resists quite a bit. Uh, DJ Basar is probably the same. Uh, quick, thick, effect resist. Uh, Dizzy hasn't changed at all. Uh, Eaton is, is literally the same as he was. He'll probably always be there. But what do I want to work on next? It's Kron. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting to work on his S1. Uh, as I get Molagoras, Kron is probably going to be my next my next built unit, and that's because Kron is just good. He he kills me so much. Um, sure, can you can you lock him down? Are there Kron counters like Charles Alencia? Absolutely, because what even is elemental disadvantage? Uh, but if you're running up against a Cleave team chances are this k is going to wipe them uh, because, well, unless you strip him again and debuff him, um, then yeah, he's going to, he's going to probably one shot most of your cleave. Uh, so that's, that's kind of the plan. Uh, that's the next project uh, is going to be k And then we're going to finish out probably Molgor is on Fallen Cecilia. Uh, I have been using her quite a bit as well. Um, she's not the thickest, uh, but that's because she's on scuffed gear. And as you can see, most of this is 85 and I'm using a 75, 75 chess piece. So as I go through Wyvern the next couple of weeks to get my our Violet build together, um, I'm going to be piecing together pieces for Fallen Cecilia. And then uh, I will finish out the shield um, and then I will get the 100% provoke chance on the S1, and then we will try to make her quick and thick. Um, let's see, Assassin Sid's gear is kind of off. Uh, why do I? Oh, that's right. That's because this is a uh, 22 speed. I was like, why do I have a life steal main ring? Um, yeah, I had to cannibalize some of his gear for some other people um who i would like to work on too is uh vivian um i think that vivian is real strong i usually get dumpstered by her so i am uh, that is maybe something uh maybe something that i work on in the future uh and then fighter maya fighter maya's gear is me i need some speed here uh, some speed pieces so i'm gonna make like a high speed uh, the plan is high speed, high defense fighter Maya. That's just gonna, just gonna shrug off debuffs and just smack them super hard in the face. I mean, I got this girl to plus 13, right? I might as well, I might as well use her. Also secret OP is, uh, is Doris. Although I need to put her neck back on her. As you can see, like I said, there's a lot of things that I just kind of, I kind of move gear around a lot. Uh, but that is, that is just some of my units. Not much has changed. Um, but yeah, so the plan is I got enough A13 mats that I'm just going to mostly do A13 crafting, uh, as I get gold. 
uh, and then just see what drops I get from Wyvern. Although, like I said before, I really don't get much in the way of good drops from Wyvern, but we're going to be a bit more picky. Uh, I'm probably not going to use, I'm probably just going to sell the gear that I craft so that I can just cycle faster. Uh, it'll be a net loss for me, but it, it is what it is, right? Uh, the more I can cycle through gear and then just use like charms and stuff like that when a good piece pops up instead of just like fishing with my blue gear uh, is probably going to be the better option out of it and then see where we go from there. Uh, but I'm getting a lot more picky when it comes to gear, mostly on this account. Like if it's not red or perfect purple stats, um, I don't really typically roll it unless it's immunity, rage or unity, because I don't have a lot of good sets for that at the moment. Uh, but there you go. Right now we are currently rank 87. And I didn't PvP, I didn't RTA like at all yesterday. Uh, I was 55 when I when I went. Like an entire day I dropped from rank 55 to 87. Uh, so that's rough. I'm going to have a 24 hour stream for the last day of RTA. Uh, but we're going to try to get top 50 and see where we can go from there. But that's, uh, that's my account at the moment, guys. Uh, looking forward to building out that K-Ron. Uh, getting gear for him and our violet that is that is what we're gonna do um, so next time look for look forward to a geared out uh, Captain Rick I'm gonna use him a lot more I'm super excited anyways guys as always if you do like this content and you're not yet subscribe uh, I would appreciate it um, but you don't have to but if you do hit the bell notification um, if you want to help out the channel I do have a patreon and I do appreciate that we have anime watch nights every so often uh, you can just hit me up in discord or uh, through patreon ask me questions um, add advice stuff like that uh, but if you just want to help out the channel just share this drop a like and a comment down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one take it easy homies peace Thank you.